Notice the four horses that are with him. This is a depiction of Nimrod fighting his battle. Notice he has four horses. And those four horses can be found in Germany, Paris, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Paris, London, and London. And this one frightens me most of all. This is a depiction of a woman riding the four horses with a child right next to her. It's Samarmas and Tammuz leading the four horses. This is the same man who did this sculpture, who did the Statue of Liberty. For such are apostles, or such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. For no wonder, for Satan himself trans oops, transforms himself into an angel of light. Therefore, there is no greater thing of his ministry. And you can read the rest. Paul was even telling the Corinthians, be warned that the devil himself will masquerade as an angel of light. The number, or I'm sorry, the word light in Greek is phos. Phos means to shine, make manifest, especially by rays on the head. Notice in the Greek triad, Soul again. Soul again. This is Zoranaster, who we talked about before that looked very much like Yeshua. This is the where you saw the women standing in the water holding the bowl of fruit. And earlier, this was the god they were worshiping. Mexico. Mohammed. Our Lady Justice. And Our Lady Liberty. Notice the symbol of the Statue of Liberty that you can only see from an aerial view. This is the statue of Helios that was taken, it was drawn based upon records from seamen who would come into uh, Greece by way of the city which traveled through the legs of Helios. Notice the similarities between Helios and the Statue of Liberty. Folks, the question we have to ask ourselves is are we honoring the great high priest, the king of kings, the lord of all lords, or is it a deception? And Jesus, if some of you are raised Catholic, I'm not trying to offend you, but the Catholic Jesus that most people come to, they don't find salvation in him. They go to a priest and they find salvation through that priest. Why? Why? Knowing the Bible, would they say that you have to come through me to do it? Instead of going straight to the king. Because their prayers and their salvation is lost by going through a man. Who on earth, above the earth or below the earth, would put a plan like that together? Other than Lucifer himself. We learned a lot about Hanukkah today. Today was a wonderful celebration. The children formed their own dance circle. Nobody told them to do that, they just did. That is the joy of the Messiah. Do not forsake the children. 
Do not deny the children. Do not deny them to come before him. Nobody stopped those children from dancing. As a matter of fact, if you looked around the room, you saw a glow and a beam on everyone's face who was watching them. We've chosen wisely. And I'm not saying that anybody who called upon the name of Jesus is wrong. I'm not saying that I called on the name of Jesus when I got saved. Probably everybody in this room called on the name of Jesus when they got saved. Mm -hmm. That's not what I'm saying. We got saved by Jesus and we found Yeshua. The problem is, is everything involved in Christmas, everything, comes from what we just looked at. Christmas originally was a pagan festival that had grown so out of control the Catholic priest canceled it for 600 years. Widespread drunkenness. They shut down the courts and the legal system. It was a free-for-all in the streets. There were orgies and God knows what other evil went on in those streets. In the name of of Christ. They were celebrating the birth of Jesus by having wild parties in the streets. Murders, robberies, you name it. Imagine if you're in New York City or Chicago or LA and the courts just decided we're not going to have any police officers on the street this weekend and we're going to shut down all the courts so you guys just fend for yourselves. What, would, what kind of mad chaos would there be in those cities? 